Hi there, it's Tanya from Tassie Treasures. Hello and welcome back. Um, I'm back again to do more of my uh, bases. So I've got this little pile. Um, I'm getting down it now, but <laughs> this there's still quite a bit in there. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, so yes, I'm back today with another one. And I've done something... I don't know if I've done it the same or similar. Um, I'm not sure. But um, I know in a lot of kits I've brought, there's always been, you know, lots of frames. Um, and, you know, these was like for the specimen type frames. Um, and these are all from different kits of, of Nanines. And they're more like picture frame type things. Um, and I know... They can be quite daunting, you think, how am I going to cut these? Oh my goodness. Um, you know, I don't have a die cut machine, so I can't just put a little shape in, run it up and down the machine and it cuts it out. Um, my punches, and I guess a lot of punches, don't go this thick in. Um, I'm not great with the blade. Um, so, yeah, a lot of these, you know, have, have piled up or... Sometimes I've not even bothered cutting them out of kits because I've just thought, oh, I, I really can't be doing with them. So these little tiny scissors from Tim Holtz, and I'm guessing, I think our embroidery scissors like this, what I've got a really sharp tip. These are fabulous. Now, all I do is, I've obviously got my fingers like that, so I'm not going to go through them. With the sh sharp bit, I just stab through it. And then I just start cutting to the edge. Okay. And then it kind of opens it up just to give you a little bit more space to, to get round. And then it's 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 about the same as just fussy cutting something then. Once you've got in with your scissors and you've got enough room to to manoeuvre them it's it's yeah the same as fussy cutting something yeah i sometimes leave a bit of white in there but you can cover that with ink sometimes it's a bit jaggedy as well because i'm obviously only doing little scissor movements so it can leave the inside a little bit jaggedy but again yeah it it's better that they cut out than than not get used because I love window type things. Um, I don't know. There's just something something about them. Um, it's it's like a a bit of a surprise, or you know, you can nearly see something, but but not near enough. Um, so I don't know. Could I get in here with my scissors and tidy it up? I don't think it's worth bothering. I think I'll just ink, ink around it. So I've done the rest. I've just left left a few out just to show you that they're not that hard. If you've got a die cutting machine and you've got all these circles and ovals and, and stuff. Because, I mean, I suppose sometimes you, you haven't even got the right shape um, to do that. But... I suppose if it's a small opening, you can just go in with a bigger die. Um, and, you know, I know a lot of you will be good with with knives. Um, what are they? Craft knives and things like that. Um, I found with the craft knife, it was a lot more jaggedy inside. And there was a lot more... Um, white bits inside because I'm not the greatest um, at it so so I shall finish these off um, and what I'm going to make them into is pockets and some of them are going to be journal cards so like this one it will be a, a journal card because I think it looks the, the print of it um is obviously portrait so I think it lends itself better to being um, a journal card so it's gonna be a pocket journal card so there 
And look at that. Oof, last bit. Yeah. And we've just got this one. Yeah, the, these are so sharp and so fine. You can just just get in really easy. She says. <laughs> yeah. And like I say, what you do mess up, you can cover it with with ink. It's it's great at masking those little little blemishes. So that's that's all those done. Right, <clears throat> we'll put those back. So what I've done is I've got some neutral um, backgrounds and I just printed them on, um, you know, normal copy paper, um, 80 to 100 GSM type weight. And I've backed them with scrap card. This is two halves of a file folder. Um, that is half a file folder. That's half a file folder. No, that one it was actually a misprint. That's an A4. That's a file folder. And that's the back of the cereal box. So that's going to be the backs. So like so. So I think we'd be best to just look at one at a time and see what we're going to do with them. I'm going to get this out to income. So I'm now going to... Oh. It's not got a pad on. <laughs> now I'm gonna get in here and just. In fact, I wonder if I can get in with this brush. It might be best just to see if that works. I don't know if I'll still have to. I think that will cover the top of it if you know what I mean. But I still might have to. I don't know. It has covered it to be honest. So that's that. <clears throat> I still want that because I want to go around the um, outside. I can't tell you which of um, Nanine's kits these have come from. I know three or four of, of the kits have got um, a certain amount in. But like I say, I'm, I'm guessing you'll have some, some anyway. Or <clears throat> even if you don't have these... Um, all you need is, you know, your scrapbook paper or um, something that you've printed out on. Get a shape, draw around it, and then go in the same way uh, with your scissors. So that's that one. We'll just do couple and see how I get on for, for time wise I have got a lot in during uh, sorry if it's irritating but um, I keep getting quite a dry throat still waiting for the re-inkers to come go on one more one more of the way so I have got some acetate this is really thin acetate um, which is perfect and it is in my <coughs> Amazon favorite sorry I've gone um I don't know <laughs> I've just I've just gone a bit right let's think <coughs> which is the best way to do this I'm guessing that way and then possibly we can get two out of it. 
So all I'm going to do first, I'm going to hope that this glue works because I did buy one of these sets what I'd got all the Aliens glues in and this is the last one um, to use. I wasn't a, a great fan. Um, I think out of all of them, this one was the better one, the original tacky glue. Um, I didn't get on with the see-through one. I don't know why I've done that. I need to go right round the edge. Right, so I'm just pushing this glue more to the, more to the edge. Okay. I don't know if this will even stick the acetate down, to be honest. Right, and we're going that way. So... I'm just going to go up and down like that as not to squirt it through the window. And I'm going to leave that for a little while. And I'll do the next one. I'm thinking it would be best to just set a little bit. So again, I'm going to go around the edge. If you don't have acetate, you can use vellum. Or sometimes get acetate bits in packaging and things like that. Right, I don't think it'll be long before this glue's run out. I don't think there's an awful lot left. Okay, so I'll pop that on like so I'll just move that up a bit so I've not got to cut that top edge right hopefully that will have set enough to uh, cut round it so I don't know if you can see but I'm wanting to hold it like this so it's just in the natural light of it so I can actually see um, where the vellum is Just see this just a little bit over overlapping, but I just can't get my scissors on it. I wonder if the snippers would actually get into it better, yeah. size two. <clears throat> Let's um, see if we can fit which is the biggest. Be about the same. So I'll do this one. The nozzle's a bit too fat on this. I'm used to the art glitter one, but I'm determined to get them all finished, finished off. That 
so that can go in that way. Yep. Just lift it up and then I can actually move it with my fingers. That's better. Come wipe the window after. I'm gonna say I've made a bit of a bit of a mess of that. In fact, let me get a wipe out and get this um white. But yeah, it's it probably wasn't the best glue to to do this with. But I've had it on my desk ages to get it used and today is the day. Right, let's do this one. Is this okay for that? Yeah. So I've just used two A5s. So obviously I've done four with one sheet of A4. Which I don't think that's, that's bad. I mean, I don't have to use as much as that. I could have just cut that bit out. But I just think for, for ease. And... If it goes all the way to the top, nothing's going to get caught on it as you're putting it down. So I think covering the whole the whole lot is, is better. Right. Let's pick it up again. So I can feel it a lot better. And see it. <laughs> right, that's that. Okay. <clears throat> Go back to this one. I think when I did them last time, I put dried flowers behind them and things. Um, but I'm not. I'm not doing that this time. to dry off a little bit they're a bit um, wet with wiping them so I can see that that one wants to go that way and that one wants to go that way so I would say that that's a definite pocket I don't know what either put it down or pick it up or leave it alone um pocket and tag journal card yes so i don't know <clears throat> um how this will go in here i don't know i think it ish did it so we're going this no, it's not. Oh, and it's jammed. <laughs> right, how do, I, how do I do this? That's it. So. I'm not the greatest at rounded corners. So, I'll just do something that resembles roundness. And I won't round the rest. I shall just keep them unrounded. Okay, right, so that's going to be a pocket. So let's have a look out of what I've cut out, which is the best for which background. Quite like that on that, that's no for that one. Mm, that's a good one. That colour goes with that. 
at the darker one. Oh, yes, I like that one. All about that. No. And what about this one? Yes. So. Let me think. So it's going to be a journal card and it's going to have a side tuck. So what I want to do is I'm going to go in with the art glitter. I'm going to hold the side what I don't want to glue. And the art glitter is not going to work because it's upset that I've used another glue. And it really doesn't want to be my friend upset. I'm just going to go around the top, down the side. Oh, I'm trying to keep steady around there and then down the bottom. I'm just going to just go up a little bit. Well, it's jumped off the desk. And I'm going to pop that on there. Okay. Right. Let's follow this round and we'll just cut that out. Sorry if you can't see, I'm going to say I'm having to bring it close to my face. Yep. We'll just follow that round, so we'll leave that a minute. Right, this one wants to go this way. Ooh, I like that tags. So we're going to leave the top open. So again, got my finger where I don't want to glue. I'll follow it round. Like so. Okay. On there. Oh, that's lovely. This paper, I think, is from the same same kids of Nanians. So we've got a pocket. So get this glue out again. I'm oh, glue ink. I'm gonna do it with a timber brown because you just can't see um, with them others. just see a little bit of plastic there so I'm gonna get my little um, <clears throat> hand in dandy pegs out for a little bit and just put some on because I'm thinking the acetate um, and it being quite thick might need just a little bit of pressing together so that's that one I should put that over there right let's ink this one up oh. 
Yep. Okay. That goes that way. Um, I'm going to get the tap. And I think I'm going to use one of the um, clipboard ones. Just go around it. Now, Violet's done me these clipboard ones, and I really cannot remember um, what die cut. She said it came from, I think it's some kind of planner um, die. I'll say I know a lot of people do, do ask where these ones are from. And that <laughs> I like that. Um, I had got a little journal card out, which is too big. So let me just trim it, trim it down. It needs straightening up anyway. Let's see if this top bit wants straightening. Possibly might need a, a bit more off. Yeah, just just a touch. I'll go from from the bottom, and I'll just take another sliver from the top. Let's have a look at this. Probably need to take some width off too. Right, so that's fine. And that way. So I will take it off there. there now the only thing is what I didn't think about is how are we going to get it out I've not put a thumb hole in it oh I love that so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get mine in let's just see if I can just put a small one in lucky <laughs> so yeah, just give that an ink round okay and that's got some ink inside it so there we have journal tag pocket yeah I like that so pop that over there I'm guessing that will be fine now so I'm not going to put anything in this for for now um let's see if I can reach something that's a bit big but like so <laughs> right let's do some more I'll keep that out to remind myself if I do um, I'll keep that out too. Move that because the light was shining in it and then it was hitting me right in the eye. So this one, I think this is going to have to be a, a little dumpy um, Ujimi Flop journal card. I just got lids on and and things. So this one's got a greeny blue background. And this one, yeah, that's okay for it. I'd like some with a bit more writing. So is there a right way or a wrong way to this? I think it looked writer <laughs> that way so why I think about it I'm going to put a little thumb hole in 
here, like so. And just ink around that bit. I have inked around this, haven't I? No, I wouldn't have done because it was still quite wet. So that's that one. Um, let's have a look at the other one. And again, I think this is going to be um, a journal card. So I think I might use use this one again. So that's going to be that one. So I'm going to need... got cards out that will fit inside those ones I've just got that one out to to show what it looked like so I don't really want to fill them but because um I might have already made something what will fit in or I might make something right up here so I don't waste any okay oh will you stand up I don't know what's up with it I think it's because there's hardly any left in it um, and whether the weight from the tip is is making it fall over I don't know but um, yeah it keeps falling Right, that wants to go there, okay. Just ink that little bit. Vintage photos working. Right, I'm going to put some clips on them. What time are we on? 34. Shall we make another couple? I suppose if you've had enough, you, you can you can go, can't you? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll make another couple because I'm going to finish them um, off camera anyway. Um, because, like I say, I'm, I'm trying now to do all my challenges and get them all decorated so I don't keep having this unfinished uh, pile. So, and up to yet, it, I'm managing uh, to do it, but I'm still obviously having to clear off uh, the other pile. So, that's that. It's just, just, ugh, fell on the floor. That there. I feel like I've got a million things on the table. Right. 
Oh, I do need to put some tops on those, don't I? Um, I'll do another two and then we'll finish off. Right, let's, oh, let's do that one. That'd be a nice pocket. And obviously that's a pocket. Which I don't want to um, put a back in this. I just wanted to put some um, acetate there. So let's do two and then whatever little piece I've got left. I can stick it in there. So they're definitely journal cards, aren't they? I think we could make this into a pocket, but it's off centre because obviously it should be um, a frame. And I think that's obviously why I'm making them into cards because um, it's more, more in line with it. So yeah, they're all going to be apart from that one and that first one oh i love that one <laughs> that's from the butterfly love right let's get around here i mean even that one i want it to be a pocket though i have cut a little bit of it off as well let me just cut another sliver off just centralizing it and say when it's off center it's it's then a bit hard to have it um landscape so that's that one Oh, just wait until I'm making things with all these botanical things. I won't have to ink everything because it will all be done. Right, that's that. So let's get some more acetate. Okay, that way. Oh, could have had it both ways, but no, I want it the butterfly way. So I'm going to do it with this glue. going to be a pocket isn't it yes so see as soon as I don't do that I'm holding this side so I don't glue <coughs> um yeah and then I haven't got a clue what I'm doing so it definitely works for me just acknowledging uh, what I'm doing oh, it saves me getting getting confused oh no what am I doing it doesn't matter anyway, does it? I am doing it round all four. Anyway, ignore what I just said. You've, you've probably all gone now anyway, so... Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I obviously was still confused because I didn't, didn't have a clue what I was doing. Right, that's that one. Is that going to be long enough? Yep. I'm going all the way around, Tanya. You don't need to say which one you're keeping free. So, what's that? Don't. Oh, we will have enough for that one. That one. 
that's that one and then so let's cut that bit off let's go and here yeah it went far too well time it right and then that's just that so that can go over there right what am i doing now I need to choose the papers don't I? so i'm thinking the butterfly one might be nice with that and i quite like this darker um part what's that so i'm gonna go there so I'm keeping that. <laughs> I'm going to put my finger in there because I do need to keep one open. Probably a bit better with my big choppy scissors. Okay, I think I can see. So that's that one, um, and the green one. What shall we do that way? I'm liking this. Oh yes, should go for that. So I want to keep that side open. those two so they're gonna want some inking over aren't they just to hide all the joins and all the rest of it I'm not I bet you were saying you've not put a thumb hole in there do it there so I don't oh, go over there. I didn't want to chomp out there on the butterfly. Right, so let's unpack these two and we'll pack up those. So I think I'm going to turn this one into a tag. So it's I'm feeling like it could no no I might do that in a tag actually um that is still quite journal cardy shape and I've got this one so yeah I'll do these both as journal cards love these they are on my Amazon favourites. So, what kind of tabby do we want? Do a small one for on here. I got any of those small ones, Julie? Did me? Let's 
think I'll have that on there. Let's um that one. Ta -da. So we've got two pockets and two journal cards finished. Right. I wonder why that glue's gone quite watery now it's gone to the to the bottom. No, now it's near the the end. Just seems to want to keep pluthering out where it didn't didn't used to do that. Right, anyway, and I shall I do this one in a clipboard? It's not looking like a clipboard though, is it? Yes, I'll go for, for this one. So I'll just cut it down. Yep. And obviously they're playing at the back so you can write on them and you'll be able to write on the back of the tag a uh, journal card whatever you put inside it let's press those two together okay that's that one Stand up. Right. So <coughs> I don't need to do anything to the pocket one. And I'm going to make this one into a journal card. So shall I cut the corners? Yes, I will. <coughs> so do we want a deepish one? I think so. Twist it over. Do that. Now that bit's going to be open now, isn't it? Not really, only a touch. Right, so that's <coughs> that. I'm going to put a hole. So middle is about where that caterpillar's head is. So I'm just going to go above that because it just, just doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah, that's tough. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I'd got X amount of uh, layers to go through. So that's that. Let me get my <coughs> eyelets. I don't want silver. Can go through that. And that will go through that. And that's that. And it still can still get a journal card in. So let's find a bit of something to go at the top of there. What have we got? So we've got some browns. I don't want to go pink because it is for I my mean, botanicals. Quite like that. Yeah, In fact, I'm going to put it in that way and tie it as a bow on at the top.
and that's that one <laughs> so that's that's it that's me today i shall carry on off screen um so thank you very much for joining me um yeah like i say we've got four of those done and we've got three pockets ready to use so not done bad i think all i've got i've got three and then <clears throat> i'm gonna do those ones too but i think with these i'm gonna get the acetate in both sides not seal it <clears throat> and then if i want to put a pressed flower or a butterfly in or something at a later day um i can do so yeah i shall get those finished off so thank you very much for joining me and i shall see you very soon bye for now apart from i can't see the